guys, it's Michelle with Monarch Graphics and Design. And today should be um, a pretty short video, although I'm going to do a couple things, so maybe I'll make it a little bit longer. But um, we're going to do this design right here. And it's pretty simple, but we're going to do a couple of different things. So let's get started. We're going to go to File. We're going to go to New. And uh, we're going to change this. I already have a preset, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And um, so what we want is 3200 by 2800. And we want our resolution to be at least 300. And we want our background to be transparent. You always want it to be transparent. Even if you're going to add a background, which you most likely would not for a t-shirt design, but there are designs that do have backgrounds. Um, you still want it transparent. You can always add your own background. So this way it's just a lot easier. And we're gonna leave the color mode RGB. All right, so we're gonna push okay. So that butterfly is actually a brush. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, switch our colors over here on this little panel you see if you hit these it turns it to black and white and then if you click this little arrow it brings it switches them around so this is your foreground color and this is your background color so this would be your foreground this would be your background and we want white so we're gonna um, bring white to the front so we're gonna go to our brush we're gonna click down our menu here and we're going to just click and drag this out so I can see it. And I should already have butterflies loaded. But I've been having a lot of trouble with my computer. So apparently they all went away. All right. So I guess we're going to learn how to do this. So we're going to click on this little arrow here. And we're going to click load brushes. And for whatever reason, it takes me to this. This is not the right place. I don't know why it takes me there, and I'm not sure how those even got there. So we're going to go to Programs, Adobe. And then we're going to go to Presets. It's not even under Brushes. Not sure why. And then it's under Brushes. Okay. And we're going to go to butterflies and then we're going to click load and there's our butterflies all right i don't remember exactly which one it is but it doesn't really matter for the video i think it's this one we're going to go ahead and make it big so we're going to just um click okay because we can always control t and make it as big as we want and we're going to put it on a little angle here and as you can see you can't really see much so we're going to go over here and we're going to double click and we're going to add a stroke okay but that's a little too much at least for me or for what we want. So we're gonna move it down to one and then we're gonna lower the opacity a little bit. Let's see, let's change this to gray. Try to get it a good color here. Push OK. Um, let's change this. Let's see. Yeah, let's change that. No, we don't want to change that to black. Okay, we'll just push cancel. Whoops, and we'll turn this off. Okay, and then we're going to push OK. Then we're going to type out our text. So we're going to come over here to our text tool. We're going to click on that. 
and we're just going to click on the screen and we're going to type out live life freely type whatever you want push the little check mark there and then we're going to click on our little tool our text tool over here so that we can edit we're going to make this obviously bigger and um we're going to pick a different font here let's see i think it's beyond the mountains but i'm not sure but i think that'll be a good one even if it's not yep that's it okay so let's go just a little bit bigger okay and then so we're gonna put that right here then we're gonna go over here and double click on our uh, layer here so that we can get this box to pull up and we're gonna do a gradient overlay we're gonna click on that and we're just gonna click one of the presets, which is right here. And then you can move this angle and see it makes the different colors move in different places. So you can move this angle to get the colors however you want them to be. And then you can also do the scale and see how it makes the color spread and get narrow, see how like that's narrow. And then, so you can use this too to get it exactly how you want it. And then we're gonna go ahead and add a stroke, but we're gonna add a white stroke because you have to keep in mind that this is you know depending on what you're doing you can't have a dark color and the light color because then what color is that going to go on what color shirt is that going to go on so i put a white border on it a white stroke because this has to go on a dark shirt and i'll show you what i'm talking about because we'll go to layer and new And layer push OK now I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and we'll do go to our paint bucket which I have it on gradient right now so click over to paint bucket we're gonna do that we're gonna click and drag this all the way down to the bottom see now that's what it would look like on a black shirt and it looks really good <laughs> okay now, if I was to change this to a white shirt, and now it's gonna look good on a white shirt too, but I will show you the difference here. So, see? And then if you were to pick like a red shirt, that's what it's gonna look like on a red shirt. So you just have to keep things in mind when you're designing. And I could have put a black uh, stroke on it. it doesn't really matter but I wanted it to match um so that's it for today guys a really short video um, I am gonna do another video and I'm gonna show you how to do a gradient stroke so look out for that one um like I said real simple video today uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up be sure to subscribe to my channel in the description link below is um, a link to our Facebook group, which is for uh, Photoshop and graphic artists. You can share your work. It doesn't matter your skill level. Um, there's videos on there you can learn from. There's all kinds of great stuff on there. So be sure to check it out. All right, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a great day.